Coming up, already flipped the burgers. I think it's time for these chicken thighs. It's 4th of July. You know what that means. It's time to grill. We skip the frills and enjoy ourselves with some classics. Little factors can be a lot harder. Morgan helps burn it off with an Independence Day inspired at home workout, but we rack up some more calories at a local bakery that uses an app to help reduce food waste. Speaking of reducing waste, a local hydroponic farm is growing lettuce with no chemicals and in less space than traditional farms. Plus, healthy snacks you can make with the kids, the latest attractions on South Beach, and more today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie and happy Independence Day. Back in the 1600s, barbecuing was really first forming, but by the time it was hitting its stride, it was just in time for America's first birthday in 1776. So today we're celebrating with a little bit of a barbecue. And don't worry, we're not gonna ruin it by making it too healthy. We have to enjoy ourselves. We talk about that on the show, and today is a day where we're going to do that. We've got plenty of meats, just regular old meats. Well, we also have some plant-based options for those of you that are interested. Classic buns, classic sauces, some of which we've taken the time to get lower salt versions, but that's all right. We'll get more into this later on in the show, but first, let's kick off Independence Day with Morgan Shapiro and a workout. Morgan, bless up, it's America. What are we doing today? So today we're doing a special 4th of July workout. We are gonna run through and do four rounds of seven exercises. July 4th. Get it? I you get with it. me? You with me? It's All right. fun. So first one we're gonna do is jumping jacks. Let's go. Jumping jacks, come on. Getting the heart rate up. I like to start with jumping jacks too. It kind of warms you up for what's to come. And breathe. The next cool. one we're gonna be doing is curtsy lunges. Oh, so you are lunging to your okay. side, really feeling the yeah. glute. And back to center, alternating sides. Let's go 30 seconds. Exercise number two. Very good, breathe. Arms are out by your side, body weight only, alternating lateral shoulder raises. And if we're doing this for 30 seconds, you're going to feel a burn by the time it hits 30. I'm going to show you exercise number four. We are coming okay. down in a plank position. Now slowly we're gonna tap one shoulder at a time. And one, very good, coming down. Okay. Take a second, breathe. We are moving on to exercise number five. You ready? Yep. We're almost there. On In a plank, on our forearms, feet are together. You're going to drop it down one hip at a time, okay. coming over to the right, back to center, and then over to the left, back to center. And one, coming up. Oh we have a squat with a pulse, so you are coming down. Up halfway, down, oh, your favorite. and up, that's one. This just goes to show you don't necessarily need weight if you just change the tempo. And little factors can be a lot harder. Very good, all right. So we are finishing off strong. Fourth of July with a nice little run in place. Getting that heart rate up. If you wanna do more of a knee high, like Hunter, that's great. I'm going for a little bit more of a kick the behind and breathe. Huh. Very good, round one complete. We have three more to go. Oh boy, well, <laughs> heart rate is up, but there's just one thing I've been thinking about. You've got the red. Right. I have the blue. Right. Where's the white in the situation? Mm, I think I have just the thing. Much better. Ooh, hey there. The white. Red, white, and blue. All right, you can repeat it if you like. We've got some business to attend to, and then we'll get to it. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Now that your muscles are cooking, let's take a look at what we're cooking. Fourth of July favorites, we've got burgers, sausages, plant-based burgers, chicken, and we're not trying to health this up too much because it's time for us to enjoy ourselves. We encourage you to do that regularly on this show, but we also want to show you that we do it too. Now, we have some buns for later, and one thing about baked goods is that there's often a lot of surplus because they go bad. And you might see your favorite donut shop or your favorite grocery store getting rid of day old bread and donuts and that could be a waste for a lot of people. So there's a local Miamian that wants to solve that problem and he's done that by creating an app. Well, take a look how it works. Welcome to Sullivan Street Bakery. We're joined by Raphael today, founder and CEO of Love It. Raphael, what is Love It? 
So Love It is a food app uh, where you can find uh, food heavily discounted because uh, it's actually food that merchants like uh, restaurants, bakeries, grocery stores, cake shops, uh, they are selling it at uh, half of its price because it's excess food. It means it's food that they have not been able to sell for that day. And here at Sullivan Street Bakery, they do a great job of creating to order, but any business has to have some excess just in case. You never yeah, know if the power goes out or there's an yeah. issue. So even here where they're already doing their best to have as little food waste as possible, there's still always going to be some, and that's where Love It comes in. Exactly. Right, I mean, look at all this beautiful bread behind yeah. us, right? <laughs> this beauty is a shame to let them go to waste, right? Yes, exactly. Well, Rafael, thank you so much for sharing Love It with us and South Florida. You know what, I think we should go find Jackie and talk about Sullivan Street Bakery and how it affects them. Absolutely. Let's go do it. Okay. Before we get started, what's going on over here? Right now we're making our beautiful stirato. It is an Italian rendition of our baguette. All right, and I want to talk to you about Love It, but first I want to learn more about Sullivan Street Bakery Miami. So Sullivan Street Bakery Miami was founded in 2017, baking wholesale bread for restaurants, hotels, cafes, big and small. Now, when it comes to Love It, what is your relationship like with them? For retail customers who want to see our bakery, mm -hmm. they can order through the app and purchase our waste product that would normally either be donated to a homeless shelter or probably tossed. We bake to order for our wholesale accounts with an order cutoff time, and we bake just a little bit extra in the case of an oven malfunction, or quality inconsistency, we specifically sift through our bread to make sure our wholesale customers receive the best items and then our retail customers receive just as great quality. We're already here. I'd like to try some bread. You think I can get some? Bread should be coming out of the oven any minute now. All right, great. Give us just a sec. This is probably delicious. And it is. That's all for us here. I've got some bread to eat. I hope you're still hungry. Watermelon salad, more grilling, and hydroponic lettuce is right here when SoFlo Health returns. Focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine. From your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. A 30-year career in law enforcement began to take a toll on Ronaldo Segui's left shoulder. I couldn't move it up. And to a certain uh, position, and then it would hurt. After years of living with the pain, Ronaldo went to see Dr. Julianne Munoz, an orthopedic surgeon at UHealth Sports Medicine Institute. She recommended total shoulder replacement. A total shoulder replacement is a surgery that's used for arthritis of the shoulder joint. That's a ball and socket joint. So when we replace it, we usually are cutting off the humeral head, which is the ball component, and we replace that with a metal ball. Then Dr. Munoz replaces the arthritic socket with a plastic component. And so that gives you a nice new um, painless and better moving surface than an arthritic joint. So doctor, who's a good candidate for that? Anyone that's kind of in the 60s, 70s range is really a prime target because they're gonna get really great relief. She says there are signs you may wanna consider total shoulder replacement. Not being able to lift up your grandchildren or not being able to get your hand to your head. Two months after surgery, Ronaldo was gardening and working on the house again. He credits the entire U Health team for getting him out of pain and back to doing what he loves. They're fantastic. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we are grilling for the 4th of July, much like you might be already or plan to do later on today. And we're not holding back. This is what we're cooking with so far. Already flipped the burgers. I think it's time for these chicken thighs. Whether you're grilling or you're making something in the kitchen, you're able to control the ingredients and you learn more about what's going in your body. And that's important not just for adults, but for children as well. And Common Threads is making that easier with some recipes that you might actually like to add to this. Common Threads is a nonprofit organization that offers cooking and nutrition education classes to children and families. We teach kids everything from learning how to use a knife, uh, measuring how to read a recipe. In our cooking classes, kids work together as a team, so we're teaching them how to do that as well. 
So yeah, we're teaching them healthy recipes and how to make them. So today we're gonna make a watermelon feta salad. So for the watermelon feta salad, we have three ingredients, watermelon, feta, and mint. With these three simple ingredients, you can make a really refreshing summer salad. So mint and watermelon go really well together. And feta cuts in with a little bit of saltiness and makes heightens the, the dish. It's good for breakfast, it's good for lunch, it's good for dinner, it's good for kids. It's a great side dish. I just sliced up some mint and we're gonna add that to the diced uh, cubed watermelon. And this is already store-bought crumbled feta cheese. Um, if you have kids working with you, it'd be fun for them to take the feta cheese chunks and crumble it themselves. And your older kids can definitely do the knife work, cutting up the watermelon, slicing up the mint. So it's a very, again, simple, family-friendly salad. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it, just because salt brings out flavor in everything, even on sweet stuff and a little bit of olive oil. And there it is, watermelon feta salad. You can always visit our website at www.commonthreads.org. We are cooking, not with gas, but certainly with charcoal. And I would show you what's going on under the hood here, but if you know rule number one of grilling from either watching Chef Michelle on SoFlo Taste or watching us here during our grilling episode, then you would know that if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Now, if Fourth of July grilling isn't your thing and you're more of the luxury staycation type, well, good news for you. Jenna Mark's gonna take you down South Beach and show you what you can do there. SoFlo Health's Healthy Travels, sponsored by GBG Travel. Mark, and this is the view from my wonderful hotel room here at the Shelbourne Hotel South Beach. And if you're looking for a place to stay for the weekend or a couple days during the week that offers all the best things about Miami, I'm talking cafecitos, beach yoga, lots of food and amazing drinks, the Shelbourne has got you covered. But don't just take my word for it. Let's go talk to Steve, the general manager. Welcome everybody. I am here with Stephen Highbloom, the general manager of the Shelbourne Hotel, and we are sitting in the beautiful lobby of the Hotel Woe. Actually, we're at David's Cafe, which is in the lobby. So, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Good to have you. What is happening at the Shelbourne? It's so busy. Oh my gosh, everything is happening at the Shelbourne. We reopened in October, and it's and just we wanted to say, how can we actually make it not just for tourists, not just for those in the country that are looking for, you know, that spot to get away, but also for the locals. One of the co collaborations that we've done was with Sweet Beach. Sweet Beach is our pop-up, which is of the founders of Sweet Liberty. Uh, Sweet Liberty is a local bar, eatery. You can come, you can drink, not to just our guests, but to everyone around. So you really never have to leave the hotel because we, you could start with coffee right here. I was just gonna say. At David's Cafe. I was, I was just gonna say, you know, one of the most iconic establishments that Miami Beach is known for is David's Cafe. Over here, you're gonna get, not just get it, but it really is the best. Something that goes hand in hand with South Beach is fitness. And so yoga on the beach. Right, we have Jill is our yoga instructor every Saturday at 9 a.m. It's, it's an offering that is complimentary for our guests. Locals can come by. It, it fills up very, very quickly. All right, well, I'm gonna go try out that yoga, but thank you, cheers. This was great, thank you so much. Appreciate it. After taking a swing at yoga, it's time for some ping pong here at Sweet Beach. I'm waiting for my drink. Look at that, right on cue. Hunter, you know what this means, right? Hold down the fort, I'm out. SoFlo Health's Healthy Travels, sponsored by GBG Travel. Stick around and let us show you how this vertical hydroponic farm is supplying Miami with fresher and more sustainable produce after the break. done this you got to try it cut a whole head of lettuce in half and put it right on the grill welcome back to SoFlo Health I'm Hunter Frankie and we are grilling for the 4th of July we've got our 
plenty of different meats here as well as our vegan patties. And then we have just added some hot dogs. And like I said, if you haven't tried this with a whole head of lettuce, give it a shot, it's delicious. Now this is store-bought lettuce, which will do the trick. But in case you want to step up your lettuce game, check out Imagine Farms. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Hunter. Welcome to the farm of the future. Oh, thank you so much. It certainly does look like the farm of the future in here. Tell me what's happening. Cool. So we're standing in the vestibule. We are surrounded by shipping containers. So to this side, we have four shipping containers. And these have all been outfitted as grow rooms. So these are freshly seeded trays. They're gonna sit in here for two days. Okay. And then they're gonna shift over into the nursery. So the temperature in here in all of our grow rooms, it's 67 degrees. It's perfect growing conditions, 365 days a year. This is a tray after two to three weeks of growth. This wow. is a romaine lettuce. What's gonna happen next, these seedlings are gonna get popped out of these little seedling trays. They're gonna get transplanted into one of these trees. Once it's full, it's gonna move into a grow room. It's healthier for you, nutrient dense, and most importantly for your palate, it's also delicious. Yeah. But I haven't tasted one yet. You haven't. We're gonna, we're gonna reorganize here, and then we're gonna taste. Stand by. This is my favorite part. We're gonna taste some of the greens. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so this is Happiness Blend. This is our version of mixed salad greens. Okay. And what's in here? This is a half pound clam shell. There's no yep. pesticides, there's no chemicals. I'm using, this is an apple cider vinaigrette, which is just to bring out the flavor of the greens. Sure. Get a mouthful, right, like a nice combo. Some people describe it as tender and crispy. It has the feeling of like it's alive still. Mm. Whereas like a lot of lettuce that you have is kind of dry and brittle and like almost like it's been there for a while, which now we've learned it probably has been. Right. This feels like it still has the water flowing through it that it was feeding off of. So the next item that we have coming to market is watercress. So what's really exciting is that watercress is one of the most nutrient dense greens. It's almost a little spicy even. It's peppery, it's spicy, it's got like a yeah, little yeah. kick to it. Lisa, thank you so much for sharing this with us today. Is there anything else you'd like to leave us with? So this is a lettuce lover's care package, right? It comes with a pound of happiness, which we just tasted, and a salad dressing from our friends at Boyaday. And we deliver to homes from Hollywood all the way down to Color Bay. Well, thanks a lot, Lisa. I'm just going to polish this off. So fun. While we wait for the lettuce and the hot dogs to cook, let me talk to you about sauces real quick. Now, today we're just using what we like. We're not worrying about what's in it too terribly much. However, if you have the option and you're looking out for your health, the number one tip that I can give you when it comes to making your healthy eating life easier is think about the sauces. That's typically where all of the extra fats, sugars, and salts are added that aren't really necessary for all of the flavor. And you can always add a little more. You can't ever take it out once it's already in there. That's why we're using some ketchup with no added salt because we have salt with us today. So if we wanna add more salt, we can certainly do that. Now, we're gonna let this finish up cooking and I'll see you for the final product. But first, watch this. SoFlo Seniors Strong is sponsored by Health Sun Health Plans. There are over 5 million seniors in Florida, most of which seem to be down here in South Florida, which is for good reason, because we have a new segment called So Flow Seniors Strong, and we're here to answer some of the questions seniors may have, like, how do I stay healthy and vital? So what's the answer? Well, of course, you can head into a gym like this one. Everybody knows you're supposed to eat well and exercise, but if you're a senior and you see a machine like this, this could be kind of intimidating. Well, this is Edward Reichbach. Believe it or not, he's 91 years old. How much weight do you think is on the end of there? Try 360 pounds. Now before you say, well, he must have been doing this his whole life, of course he's able to do it. He started when he was 79. So before you think of any more excuses, let's check in with Edward and his son, Carrie, right now. Every once in a while when it gets a little tough, I look, all my friends are gone. They ate all the wrong foods, no exercise, sat and rocked all day in a chair and watched television. That's the difference. I feel good, I feel strong, and mentally, everything is still working up on top. Movement is the key to all of this. Typically, you wanna start with something that everyone can do, and that's just walking. From that point on, we can begin strength training. Strength training combined with a balance movement 
Again, imbalance leads to a fall, and that can be fatal. I started with five pounds. What was the latest I pulled? Uh, 35. I think it was about 65. If you say so. Oh, good. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be the father. I didn't think I could ever do it. But always positive reinforcement. Pop, that's great. Yes, yeah, you got it. If I'm talking to older people, find an older trainer who can help you understand what you're going to go through. And so far for me, it's working. And you can't really do the same thing and expect different results. So we've got to constantly raise the bar, uh, figuratively speaking, and uh, literally. As long as you're breathing, you can improve. I'm still putting on muscle at 91 years old. You can grow muscle at 91. SoFlow Senior Strong is sponsored by Health Sun Health Plans, Florida's only five-star plan four years in a row. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and we grilled for July 4th. And I have here the spoils of our creations. We've got hot dog, and then of course we've got our classic burger. As we said early on in the show, we want you to enjoy yourself on holidays and to have the days where you just have a cheat day and just enjoy the food, don't think too much about the health. However, one thing I like to do when I know that I'm eating less healthy meals, I typically make sure that I'm drinking water and not some other drink that's got you know, extra sugar or something in it. But please do what you want. Enjoy Independence Day. That's what it's here for, to enjoy this beautiful country that we live in. And thank you for joining us today. If you'd like to watch previous episodes of SoFlow Health, you can at SoFlowHealth.com or on YouTube.com and search SoFlow Health. You can follow us using at SoFlow Health to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy. And until next week. It's goodbye and good health. Next week on SoFlow Health, we visit a new interactive art museum that uses technology and architecture to give you a different experience each time you go. Plus, it's leg day with Morgan and we harness the power of cold and light for muscle recovery. We'll see you then.